Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Dream Boots Tarot here, here for another reading for the sign of Virgo. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribed, and those who subscribe in the near future. All is welcome, cross watchers. Grab a seat. All right. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. There's no time, nor gender in tarot. This is why I highly recommend that you guys subscribe, subscribe, because you just never know when you need to hear this. Okay? Um, yeah, I I apologize in advance for if I sound stuffy, uh, but it's been a quite emotional day. Okay? Um, I mean, tears heals the soul. Okay? And I'm, I'm very firm about that okay and um no matter what you and this is for certain people out there and i'm hoping that it relates because i feel like some of my fellow virgos have endured a few hiccups turmoils um even to a point of feeling of you know of no return and feeling like certain things have been stripped away from you and not on a materialistic thought you know but also you know but but just people in general okay um detachment issues is not something to take lightly i feel some people fail to realize of how much they impact someone even for a short period of time uh, I know Virgos are known to be uh, very persistent as and we we I, I remember like reading a post and then I had um, shared it on my um Facebook that, you know, Virgos, when we pick, we pick, it, you know, we're picky, we're not picky, we're just like, but then I use selective, I like to use that word selective, because I don't just manifest, I don't just like, I don't just ask or want certain people in my life. I feel like certain people, you know, are seasonal. Some people are for a lifetime. But I have not yet established what it means to have someone for a lifetime. Unless they were like family. And family to me is my mom. My son. My brother and my sister. Me and my sister's not seeing eye to eye. Um, that's family. No matter what, that's family. And, um, it's, it's so overwhelming. Because there's just so much that's going on. I've said goodbye, you know, to um, and just a little bit about me. Like, um, besides me working in a school um, as a paraprofessional, I also work as, you know, as a therapeutic mentor. I worked for a company uh, for about six years. And I met some great people. I met some great children. It's not easy for me to say goodbye because I have detachment issues. And I know it stems from, you know, me being young and my dad and just so much. I come today to be 
as transparent and vulnerable as much as I want to be. What I love, I love hard. And sometimes I really like acts. The universe, God, this is these angels. Like, why were these lessons? Why was I needed to endure them? I feel like I was supposed to. Because I have a mission. And the mission is me. Growing and just being strong and sometimes that's scary. It's scary being strong all the time. Cause you're afraid of anyone getting so close. And when they get close, you don't even understand or realize how much you push them away. just want to be so strong I'm okay for those who stayed and I'm okay with those who left sometimes your journey is not with certain people I just wish I didn't waste so much time with certain people But I'm grateful for what I've learned because I'm learning myself. And as I stated, like, goodbye is not easy for me. Like, this, that last, like, this job that I'm actually, like, really leaving. It's like I don't even know. A lot of things are just hitting because I'm just. I just want to evolve. I just want change. I just... Instead of, like, cutting my hair or, you know, dyeing my hair. You know how, you know, some women do, whatever. I'm just the type, like... I move. At my own pace. But, um... It is what it is. I'm grateful for what I've learned and I'm grateful for what I'm ready to learn even more about. But I'm not going to treat this like I did Leo. Um, But I'm feeling like some of you guys are feeling defeated a little bit. Don't feel defeated. 8.19 on the clock when I said I don't. You don't even know what you're manifested by simply just continually be sh- like knowing that certain things in life happens and it's unexpected and all we can do is just move forward. Forgive those, even the ones you don't feel the need to forgive them because it's not for them, it's for you. And then later on, yeah, you forgive them for them. I just want to keep loving. And I just hope that, you know, I do (laughs) walk towards or stumble upon someone who is meant for me forever. I always refer to Notebook, you know, that movie of them getting older and just, you know, about that fairy tale. But it's not that it's not about being it's not about it being fairy tale. Because I know it's out there. And I know it's real it's real. I know love is real. Cause what you can do with love oh, 
what you can do with love. You can do a lot with love. We just gotta know the difference. And we just can't keep spending and wasting our time on people who don't believe it. But yeah, um, let's uh, let's get to your read. Um, damn. It makes me feel like I gotta close this out, and yeah. I'm definitely, that's what I'm gonna do, get myself together and do another read um, so I could do this properly. All right, for the Virgo read, and I just hope that you guys understand and can um, relate. I mean, let's what's this? What's the tea spill? Let's let's just get to the reading. Let's just get to the reading, okay? I apologize in advance, guys. <clears throat> All right, this is me, guys. Ancestors, angels, universe, any messages you would like for me to relay back to the sign of Virgo, please and thank you. Please and thank you. All right, we'll take these two cards that flew out. Regret and evidence. Who is that? Distractions, I tell you. Intimidated. And that flew in reverse. But with the how the way these cards are, we're just gonna go by energies. <clears throat> if it's meant to be reversed, I'll feel it. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Let's do three more cards. Let's get a six six card spread <laughs> if I shed tears in front of you guys we family now <laughs> we are family now all these cards what's up with it oh my god <laughs> we're gonna take we're not gonna take all these we're gonna take these first cards though that can be remarked so the first card that flew out, right? So we got six cards spread, and there's other ones, but we're gonna see if we if it's necessary. So for the first card that flew out, regret. Second card, evidence. Third card, intimidated. Next card, daydreaming of you. No money, no talk. And crying over someone. <laughs> they try to pull. <laughs> they try to pull our energies out on the deck. This is why I wanted to take a break because I definitely did not want my energies to align with this. But I don't. I don't. Kind of. We go. We gonna find out. We gonna find out. Okay. So that just flew out. Just okay. Spiritually hater. In a sharp tongue. Am I taking it or not? Am I taking it? Alright, so we're taking irresponsible. That's what it wants me to take. Thank you, Spirit. And false twin flame? Are we taking it? Nope, we're not taking it. Talk good shit, though. Yeah, we'll take that. And salty. <laughs> Long distance. The card that flew out just miraculously was no limit. That came in reverse, but we're not going to take it as reverse, okay? Just give me a moment so I can feel these energies, please. 
but that probably sounds so awful. Someone that you're dealing with maybe at a long distance. This person does not believe in what you're capable of. Okay. This person is very irresponsible. This person talks a real good talk. Okay. This person knows how to finesse people. All right. And they're intimidated by who you are as a person, as an individual, all right? They are salty. The reason why they're salty is because they chose someone over you, Virgo. They underestimated you. They had no limits to what they're capable of. This person was and is for the streets. This person may just come and want to reconcile with you, right? Yeah. Because they're in regret. Of course, they're in regret. They allowed you to walk away. They allowed you to take on that hurt, swallow that pill, right? That hurt pill, that sour pill, that bitter that bitter sour taste in your tongue and they didn't they didn't have no care in the world they walked away they allowed you to walk away they watched you walk away and you know why cuz they expected you to come back they expected you to not know your worth and continue to follow behind their footsteps for what this person pretends to be an alpha. This talk a good talk. They finesse what they can finesse. This person was all about materialistic things. No money, no talk. This is a past person. And this person may just, right? If they don't hear this message, because it might just change and shift there and alter their path. But who cares? Stand high and stand firm in what you believe in and you knowing your self-worth. I see some of you guys doing a lot of self-care, all right? Picking up, picking up things, all right? Like unexpected things, changes. You have evidence to prove that this person was working against you. All along, they were working against you. They pretend to, what, court you, court it? Yeah, they pretend to court it, court it you, but no. It was all, it's, it's, it's memories now that you'll have and you'll keep of this person. But you are the main attraction. You have faith in yourself that you will find the life partner that you deserve. Yes, you will gain self-love. And the next person that's going to be with you is going to show you just how much they love your in and outs, your intimacy, your beauty. Something about your scent that keeps lingering. And it could be that person's scent that keeps lingering. And this person, yeah. The thought of you exhaling, the thought of you breathing, either in their ear would you guys love bake? I hear a lot of. What's that? Trying to get you aroused by expressing so much, you know, emotions, you know, being so in tune with your body, being so in tune with who you are. Your beauty is so captivated and I'm pretty sure you feel like their beauty, their hands, whatever it is to describe your person. It's captivating. And it's time for you to build a future with someone. But yes, what your inner fears may scare you. Because this person does have a different type of love language. See, don't be afraid of what you're not accustomed to. Be open to change. Be open to be uncomfortable. To get comfortable. Know that what you're asking... The universe, they hear you. It might not come to you the way you thought it would come to you, but it's coming. And at times, it might not be the person that you want 
And it might just be something even better. And I know you guys are probably like, I've heard this, I've heard this from a lot of readers. I get it. But feel me and trust me when I say your time and your love and your and, and, and the fact that you've admired those even when they didn't admire you. And if you had walked into doors and rooms that didn't accept you, but yet you stayed grounded. See, now the universe loves a stubborn heart. And love someone who owns up to what it is that means I know my self-worth. And it may have taken you a few stumbles, a few people with their foot on your neck. But you didn't allow it to stop you from fulfilling what it needs and your purpose. And understanding who you are as an individual. Don't be afraid of... Your creativity, even if it makes or people think you're that you're weird or that you're stuck in your own world, then let it be. At least I know that in my world, I'm at peace. And I'm not stuck around by certain people or certain individuals who just cannot see my worth just as much as I see their worth in them. Don't stop loving. Don't stop being you. Just because someone didn't understand it. Because I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Someone's going to catch your love, Virgo. I was so emotional earlier. And I know I'm not only talking to myself as a reflection in the mirror. But also I'm talking to my brothers or my sisters or my friends or my family or my network or my sub, what would what, 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 what we say? I feel like we're family now. I've done shed, shed tears today. And I'm okay with that. I understand that certain things needs to be said. And I'm very, and what I mean by I'm going to continue to be me. And if it takes me to get on here and shed some tears and be okay with it afterwards, it was well worth it because I know somebody needs to hear that they're not alone they're not alone I feel like this is my calling I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be I'm faced with a lot of challenges and I feel like God is continuing to continue to work on me I'm not perfect I love that I'm imperfect and I know that What's meant for me won't leave me, won't stray or won't pass me. I feel like at times I've made so much effort and it's very stubborn and very persistent on keeping certain people in my life. But all I did was push them away. Sometimes when you hold on something so tight, you ruin it. That's why whatever is meant for you, let it flow. Because I promise you, what's for you will always be for you. So hold on to faith. Know that what you want is out there. You are the main attraction in your life. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks. It matters what you think. You got love coming in. A love that is sacred. A love that is destined for you. And it's because of the seeds that you've planted. This person will understand you. This person, when y'all are in the same room together, mentally y'all talk to one another telepathy. And it's coming very soon. Be ready. Be ready. Because this just might be your forever after. But that's all I have for you guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Till next time, Virgo. Namaste. God bless.